What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I've just been dinking around with the uh, the dual hub bike, my snow bike lately with the fat tires because it's been snowing outside and whatnot. Um, but I was having some problems with my Frankenrunner controllers that I had on this bike. So what I've done just to get this thing going is I've got, I just put the Bafang controllers back on it. So these are 30 amp Bafang controllers. So I've got two of these on here, one for each motor. And then, so in the snow, I usually keep the front motor on like PAS1 or else the whole, you know, the tire just loses traction. So I take it easy with that front motor in the snow and kind of preserves the battery using low power. But then the rear motor, depending on the conditions and your traction and stuff, is best to start it out in like a low PAS and then maybe play around with more power. Today it's kind of like nice and sticky and wet snow outside, so um, there should be decent traction. We got the PSI, uh, we got the PSI pretty low here. I'll have to get my, my gauge and I'll check what the PSI is in my tires. All right, so the pressure gauge says this is seven PSI. Um, I might add a little bit, oh, it's saying 6.5 now. I might add a little bit more in there earlier. It, I was getting good traction with this earlier, but I did hit a couple bumps and I was getting a little bit concerned about it being too low for that kind of stuff. So I might add a little bit more, just a couple. So it's at six and a half. Um, Let's put up the 10. All right, so up in the front tire, it looks like I had it at about seven PSI as well. Uh, so I'm gonna bump this one up to 10 also. And so my strategy with this bike and the battery for this bike is I've taken the 72 volt triangle off of here, right? That was like a 16 pound battery. It was a little bit heavier. And now I've got little baby Samsung on here. So this is a 52 volt, 8 amp hour battery. It's 14S for the 52 volts, and then it's 2P, makes the 8 amp hours. And so it can do about 75 amps uh, discharge. You can do about 75 amps discharge max. And I've got two 30 amp controllers on here. So when I give it full throttle and we have both motors set to full power, we're doing about 60 amps on this thing. But today, um, I might turn up the power on the rear motor, like I said, but the, the front one is going to be on like PAS1, doing maybe like 250 or 500 watts or whatever. So today we're probably not going to do much more than like 30 amps or 40 amps. And then, so I've got my, I've got my uh, connectors like hot glued, so that w snow doesn't get in here in between the wires and melt down in there and cause problems. So I did that with both the XT90. Don't, those aren't as bad, but the XT60s, these ones can really like if you. Imagine if you have this thing covered in snow, and then there's just water melting down this thing. It would go in here, where you solder those wires in there, and this whole little gray plastic thing can get filled up with water in between, in between there, and short things out. Especially if there's like salt water getting down in there. So, but yeah, so it's a 52 volt, 8 amp hour battery, and then. I've got a four amp charger, so I can go ride this thing around. We've got eight amp hours. I can charge this back up in two hours. So I can, I can ride this multiple times a day, stick it on the charger, charges up in a couple hours, fast charging. So it's pretty convenient. I don't ride it very long in the winter when it's cold anyways. So, so that was kind of the bike check. And again, I've got the 30 amp controllers on here now. Uh, because my Franken runner, my grin controller was just having problems and I, I had to arm it and send it back and then they fixed it and they sent it back to me and then the same thing happened again. 
So then I'm going to RMA it and send it back to them again, and they're going to send me a new one. Or they're going to send me like a refurbished one that's working in better condition. But so for now, we've just got these two 30 amp controllers on here and 52 volts and a much smaller, lighter battery. And this works pretty good in the snow. I don't need a big giant battery. We're not going on a long ride. So that's kind of where we're at. I thought, oh, I thought we would do a bike check. Look at the bike here before I take it out because it's snowing out. And once I get outside and I have all my jacket and stuff on my face, it's not as easy to talk and to hear me. So I thought we would look at the bike inside before we go out. And now I'm going to get all of my clothes and stuff on and get out there and ride around. Let's go. Let's go for a ride out in the snow. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, so I got the 500C display. This is for the rear motor. All right, so this one, it's nice because it has the voltage, 58 volts. It's got, like, the, the energy bar that works with the 52-volt battery. It's got the power meter. I'm probably going to start out at about PAS2. Then down here in the lower bars, you got the display for the front motor. This is, like, a DPC something or other, 18, I don't know. I put this on PAS1 for the front motor. All right, so that's that's how we got the display set up. All right, so let's set out. Guys, I think we had a critical error on the way here and I was recording with the wrong GoPro settings. So that is terrible indeed. <clears throat> let's see here. All right, I've got a burrito in my pocket. Resh Pole, we're riding the dual hub bike. And I recorded this whole ride with my nighttime GoPro settings. We're gonna have to do the, the, the clappy collapse again and get this thing. Oh, 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 whoa. All right, so let's, let's Let's go. Let's go, dude. It's really wet out. I hope I make it back. We're using little baby Samsung. It's it's only eight amp hours. It's snowing out. Uh oh, my, what just happened? Man, this is shitty. I had this other GoPro going. I guess maybe we can watch that GoPro for the ride here, because I think that was right, but, all right, well, whatever. So, we're riding back. Little baby Samsung's at 52.6 volts. Making our way back. We didn't get that much snow this winter, so I gotta like get out and ride around in the snow a little bit. So we got two, two 30 amp controllers on this bike again, because um, my Frankenrunner controller, I keep having to send that thing back to Grin for like RMA stuff and they fix it and then like it gets a problem and then they fix it so they're just gonna send me a different frankenrunner so right now i don't have two of the controllers that i need to use 72 volts on this bike so i'm just on i'm on 52 volts oh and we're on a burrito run I think eight amp hours is like the perfect amount for a burrito run. Oh, oh. Eight amp hours is gonna be just enough, just right. I don't have a watt meter on this bike right now. 
I think we probably have to clean the screen off a little bit. Let's see. Clean it off. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So I have the rear motor on PA PAS5. So that's doing 30 amps. And then I have the front one on PAS1. So it's just helping out a little bit. We're cruising. I got a burrito in my pocket. Maybe I'll go back a different way. Let's see. I wish my GoPro on the other, or I wish the battery on the other GoPro wouldn't have died. We're just gonna cruise nice and slow here. Maybe, let's see, get it pedaling. Pedaling? Pedaling? Am I pedaling? My chain? What is going on here? I think my derailleur is not, <laughs> it's not shifting, it's frozen. All right, my derailleur is frozen. That's good to know. So is my face. Rear hubs do 900 watts. We're making our way back home with a burrito in our pocket. And I bet the GoPro screen is full of stuff. Let's see here, can we bump this up a little bit? The uh, oh, whoa, 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 they haven't quite plowed this yet. We're cruising. There's nothing better than a nice, crisp winter bike ride, the burrito in your pocket, and Whoa, we gotta slow down. Whoa. Oh, this tree's hanging low from the snow. Oh. Uphill. We're going up. We gotta make sure we keep the GoPro cleaned off for this fun ride. Alright. Oh. I definitely got more looks today than I think I ever have. Oh, oh. Let's go here. Oh, yeah. What a day. There's some big snowballs out here. What are we at? 49 volts. Oh. Oh. Alright. I want to go eat this burrito. What a sight. What a sight to behold. A beautiful winter day. I'm not sure what voltage these controllers cut out at, so I want to get off of this bike path and back out onto the street. Oh man, because under load it's, uh, it's dropping down to like 45 here, 44. Oh. Oh. 
once we get back out on the street, it'll be a little bit easier going. I'll just crawl back home with our remaining capacity. Oh, man. We hit an ice chunk. Oh, we just about lost it. Hopefully these controllers don't cut out too low. Under no load, it's at 48.5, about 49 volts. Man, I think my, uh, we gotta turn this glove up. This is, my, hand are, my hands are getting cold here. I'm sure the GoPro's frozen up. Let's see. Put these puppies on red mode. I am cold, buddy. Getting a lot of looks today. Man, my fingers are still cold. Brakes are not working very good. Oh. Just having that front motor on PAS1 on a low power helps a lot. Battery is getting low. We need to. faith in the Samsungs. I need to get a watt meter on this bike because I don't know I don't know how many amp hours I've used or what. Man it's snowing all buddy. It uh it already kind of covered up my path from the way here. fun um if you like snowy winter videos make sure you like this one because my fingers i think they're just about frozen and i'm doing it for you guys little baby samsung whoa performed admirably oh this is a true demonstration of what fat tires are capable of in dual motors. Everybody's looking at me. If you want everybody to look at you, get a dual motor e-bike and then go ride it outside in the snow. Like a clown. <laughs> We're just going straight through here. Oh yeah, there we go. Little baby Samsung is getting low, 44 volts. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. How's everybody doing? We're going 25 miles an hour. Probably faster than we should be, but I've got a burrito in my pocket that I need to eat immediately. Sell your car, buy an e-bike, 
if you gotta go around in the snow make sure it's got dual motors and fat tires and like and subscribe and leave a comment see you next time buddies love you bye bye Guys, we made it back. We're at 45.5 volts. The battery looks pretty dead.
this is crazy. This is perfect right now though for riding. Brakes. if you think I'm gonna make a oh my god the traffic here is crazy
We're bumping up PAS to five on the rear motor. 